Hey, welcome aboard uh, Tango Golf Foxtrot Piper Arrow set up for IFR here in New Zealand and uh, the weather's not that good for flying out there so thought we'd do a little bit of a cockpit tour so looking right in front of me here is the uh, what we call the six pack of instruments top left airspeed indicator powered by uh, uh, air pressure you know the difference between static and dynamic pressure Moving down here, the turn and bank indicator telling us whether the airplane is uh, nicely in balance. Top right, and we're kind of starting with the simple ones here, the altimeter. Again, air pressure telling us we're 220 feet above sea level, which is about right. And vertical speed, whether we're going up or whether we're going down. It says we're going down, but uh, trust me, we're not. In the middle here, we get into the navigational side of things. At the top is the, uh, the Garmin G5, which is a new addition to the airplane, showing us attitude, GPS track, airspeed and uh, altitude as well which is a fairly capable little instrument down below that the horizontal situation indicator shows us a couple of things there's a compass uh, around the outside gyro compass tells us which way we're pointing this little bug here that I'm moving is really just a reference to tell us which way we want to point and also to uh, to drive the autopilot and the course deviation indicator in the middle tells us where we're sitting in relation to the airplane's chosen track. So moving to the right of the six pack, got the uh, the CGR30 which is our main engine instrument showing us uh, manifold pressure, RPM and a bunch of other things as we step through the different pages including very accurate fuel sensing which is unusual in a, uh, in a Piper, cylinder head temperature, exhaust gas temperature and back to the main screen. The stack over here is kind of the the main uh, resource for working out where we are in space. So from the top, the Garmin 430W uh, GPS tells us where we are in space and uh, allows us to enter a flight plan and carry out a, uh, an instrument approach down to, down to the ground, or almost down to the ground. You'll note that the, uh, the map is not the most advanced thing in the world, but it is very, very accurate. Also built into this box, communication and uh, navigation radios. Below that, another uh, Garmin Navcom box. At the moment, it's showing uh, communications frequencies. If we tap the button down there, it shows us that we can navigate to Fenupai or Hamilton using uh, radio beacons. And finally, uh, down below that, the transponder telling uh, radar who we are, where we are, how high we are. And then over on the right, the granddaddy of the panel, the, uh, the automatic direction finder which points to, uh, to a radio beacon and lets, uh, lets us know where we are in relation to that. It has no compass information, so I need to manually set that uh, to correspond with the heading of the aircraft. So that's the, uh, that's the setup here in the, in the Piper Arrow. Um, as I said, not much of a day for flying, but uh, we are going to go and refuel, so we're ready for next week's, uh, next week's trip. Thanks for watching.